I remember as a youngling going into my game store and asking the clerk which were the good games and which were the bad. And usually, I'd get some helpful advice, but nowadays, I'd be lucky to escape from the store without them having to try to shovel some useless shit down my throat. Sir, which would you like to pre-order? Sir, would you like to subscribe to our magazine? Sir, would you like to power up the reward card? Sir, would you like to GameStop credit card? Sir, how do you like your blowjobs? Sloppy or dry? It's all such a convoluted mess with no end in sight, but that does actually bring a question. Does this benefit the consumer at all, asking all these questions? Because I'll admit, I have used the Power Ups reward cards to get my cousin a Batman bottle cap opener, but that's, that's it. Other than that, I never needed the damn thing. I mean, I know that it's a dying art, but I remember when store clerks used to help you make an informed decision. But in order to even reach that goal now, you'd have to sit through like a five minute infomercial in real life just to make a purchase. God, I know, I should be talking about something more realistic, right? Instead of just complaining, well here you go. GameStop is now trying to fingerprint ID you every time you trade in a game. GameStop now has a new credit card which, uh, which has like a 20% increase rate. So those $50 games now can cost you hundreds of dollars over time. GameStop had to fire a good amount of their staff. And GameStop also decided that trades... Oh, oh God, this is just depressing. I, I just want to buy games, not have you read me my video game rights. You have the right to buy games. After we nag you for five minutes, you have the right to be in our store. But we will profile you and shove our shit down your throat. Oh, God, I can make fun of this all day. All right, look, uh, I have a question. Out of all the bullshit that you go through when buying games, has any of it ever really been beneficial towards you?